Absolutely. And moving on, then the big story this morning, like we talked about earlier as well, the commentary coming in from Fed Chair Powell. And he reiterates once again that it will take time for the policymakers to evaluate the current state of inflation, speaking specifically about the hotter than expected pricing pressures. The central bank chief said he and his fellow officials are in no rush to ease monetary policy. The remarks come two weeks after the rate-setting FOMC, again voted to hold benchmark short-term borrowing rates steady. Remember, other Fed officials speaking this week have made remarks consistent with the central bank's patient approach. Powell reiterated that decisions are being made meeting by meeting and noted only that rate cuts are likely to be appropriate at some point this year. So that's the key commentary coming in from him. Well, absolutely. And while we're talking about central bank action, Back home, the RBI's two-day MPC meeting is underway. This is the first meeting of FI25. Remember, it's the last one before India heads to the polls. And the street expects the central bank to maintain status quo. Let's go across to my colleague Gaurav, who's joining us to tell us what's more in store, what we can expect from this meeting, and what largely the street is penciling in when it comes to this MPC meeting. Gaurav, take it away. Talking about Monetary Policy Committee's meeting, RBI has kept its focus on three main factors. And first, if we talk about growth, we have already seen a big surprise which came up in the quarter gone by. And if we talk about the uh, high frequency data in this quarter also, it shows rebound in the consumption activities, which means that Street is expecting the growth to remain robust in this quarter also. If we talk about inflation now, RBI may reiterate its stance on bringing inflation back to 4% levels. But if we look at inflation, data in the Jan and February so far, it was at 5.1 percentage and now Street is expecting headline inflation to remain above 5 percent uh, in first half of CY24 also and this will be because of the high food inflation which will be a key monitorable for the committee going ahead. If we talk about liquidity also, we have seen interbank liquidity turning into a surplus in the month of March as it was in the deficit since September 23 and we may see short term volatility in this sector as well and on back of all these all, all these factors. Now, Street is expecting RBI to remain steady on the policy. They are expecting status quo on rates. That means the rates are expected to remain at 6.5 percentage. They remain. They, they expect RBI's stance to remain at withdrawal of accommodation from here on as well. And we may see uh, two rate cuts in the year itself in 2024. And first rate cut may start in August 24 as per Street's expectation. Obviously, there are some risks. For example, global factors and domestic factors will affect these fact, uh, these entire rate cut scenario. But all in all, we will definitely keep an eye on how RBI sees these risks and how they go ahead with the rate cuts coming ahead. Well, thanks, Gaurav, for that analysis. So that is what is being penciled in for RBI's MPC. But let's keep it going with macro data then. Inflation in the 20-nation eurozone is to 2.4% below the expected 2.6% and hitting a four-month low for the solidifying expectations of monetary policy easing by the European Central Bank in the upcoming months. Meanwhile, core inflation rate, excluding volatile food and energy items, decreased from 3.1% to 2.9%, hitting a two-year low. Well, let's, uh, let's shift focus from Eurozone to the US, and private sector employment has increased by 184,000 and annual pay by 5.1% in March as per automatic data processing report which is the ADP report remember this data was uh, surprising not just for the pay gains but the sectors that recorded them the three biggest increases for job changers were in construction financial services and manufacturing this also is the largest addition since July and the higher than expected 148k new private jobs Moving on then, Amazon's cloud comp computing division is laying off hundreds of employees in its physical stores, technology and sales and marketing units. Company's lucrative AWS unit has seen its sales growth decelerate in recent quarters as companies trimmed their cloud spend amid rising interest rates. Company also decided to make cuts to the store technology division as a result of a broader strategic shift in the use of some applications in Amazon's own as well as in third-party stores. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.